Have you ever applied for your dream job? Or tried to go to college and been turned away just because you have a disability? If you answered yes to this question, you know how I feel. Every time I leave my house, I go out into the average world. In this video, we're going to look at Apert syndrome in the world today. And we're also going to look at the organization that helps children and their families affected by Apert syndrome. People ask me all the time, why do I look different? I tell them, I have a disability called Apert syndrome. According to the website, www.apert.org forward slash apert.htm, it occurs in approximately 1 per 160,000 or 200,000 live births. I was one of those affected by Apert syndrome, and it's been a part of my life ever since I was born. You might ask yourself, how could I be born with Aperts if no one in my family has ever had it? Parents of children born with Apert syndrome can be perfectly healthy and still have a child affected by Apert syndrome because Aperts is a result of a genetic mutation on chromosome 10. When you are born with Aperts, you have a 1 in 2 or 50-50 chance of passing this condition down to your child. This is because each of us can have more genetic makeup from each parent when we're born. The best organization that helps kids and adults affected by Aperts is called DARS. DARS stands for Department of Assistive and Rehabilitative Services. I've been with DARS for about, eh, give or take two years, and they've helped me achieve my biggest goal, and that goal was to get into college. Before I learned about the services or any of the programs offered by DARS that they provide for people with disabilities including neighbors, my dream of attending college seemed like a long shot because it felt like I was down here at the bottom and everyone else was way at the top. So once I found out about the services offered by DARS, I finally saw my dream become a reality. People, another pe question people always ask me is, how can I help? Well, one of the things that you can do, one of the things I recommend doing, is becoming friends. Make friends with Apert's children. Because you never know, they might actually have some fun stories to tell you. Or they might like to do the same things you do. Okay, if you just give ten, five, ten minutes of your time to make a friend, to make a new friend, whether they have a disability or not, eventually we can all change the world and make the world a better place for the future generation. Aperts or not, you can still achieve your dreams. All you have to do is believe in yourself and believe that you can.